many people, Skull Island is nothing more than a jungle of death. With giant bugs, killer birds, and large carnivorous dinosaurs, it seems as though there is nothing peaceful that lives on this island. But of course, it can be deceiving. Skull Island is home to a menagerie of herbivorous dinosaurs, many of which are survivors from the late Cretaceous period of North America. This is one of the most common of the herbivorous dinosaurs living on Skull Island. Its name is Lagochrystis enonsens, which means hoe crest. This descendant of the duck-billed dinosaurs of the plains of North America reaches between 26 and 34 feet long and lives on the grasslands and swamps of Skull Island. As the prime food source for many of the island's large predators, Lagochrystis evolved a special adaptation which allowed its eyes to constantly be facing the horizon so as even while it's feeding, it can look out for predators. Another adaptation is that during the nesting season, herds of Lagochrysis gather in the swamps to lay their eggs. Here, they are protected from the land-dwelling predators and they, on the land, they're safe from the water-bound predators as well. However, not all of the herbivores on Skull Island are defenseless. This is Ferrocutus cerastes, which means horned iron hide. This is one of the last ceratopsian species which survives on Skull Island. Its descendants are unknown, but despite the resemblance of Pachyrhinosaurus, it is discovered that it is actually a descendant of the Styracosaurus. These 24 to 30 foot long herbivores are the only tanks living on the grasslands of Skull Island. Here they live in large herds consist consisting of 5 to, to as many as 15 members, mostly young and females with a few males. The only natural predators to adult Ferrocutuses are V-Rexes. Their huge bulk make them fierce opponents, but Ferrocutus are just as fierce to the V-Rex as they are to them. Also, Ferrocutuses tend to be pestered by parasites, and so, to rid them of this problem, they rub their backs against the giant towers of termites living on Skull Island, which quickly qu climb aboard the Ferrocutus and attack both the termites and the Ferrocutus. Luckily, its thick hide protects it from any harm of the termites. The largest animal living on Skull Island and the largest terrestrial animal on the planet is this, Brontosaurus Baxter, which means Baxter's Thunder Lizard. This monstrous reptile reaches lengths between 80 and 120 feet long. This makes it possible to tear down nearly any tree on Skull Island and is the only reason why the grasslands still exist at all on the island. Surprisingly, the only real threat to these creatures are not the giant V-Rexes, but the mid-sized raptors known as Venatosaurus. These creatures hunt down the brontosaurus thanks to not strength, but numbers and intelligence. Despite their immense size and weight, the brontosaurus are, able, are actually quite nimble and can run at high speeds for, the, for an animal of their size. This is due to the fact that they are hunted by Venatosaurus and must at least outmaneuver these animals even though it is impossible. This dinosaur is called Brontosaurus Backstreet due to the fact of one of the first people who found it was the actor Bruce Baxter. The reason his name was given to Brontosaurus was because while Brontosaurus was the largest animal on Skull Island, Bruce Baxter was a large actor in the time period where he came to the island. This is a Valrosaurus populator, which means greedy lizard ravager. A denizen of the jungles, this creature has a stomach that can digest literally anything it finds. With a stomach that can eat plants, rotting carcasses, and even fungi, its, it's origin is a, actually a mystery to science. Although most scientists agree that the most likely ancestor were the hip cylopodonts at the end of the Cretaceous. Reaching a length between 18 and 26 feet long, having large claws and sharp teeth, very few animals would ever take an Avarosaurus head on. This strange looking creature is known as Diablosaurus rufus, which means red devil lizard. At a length of 20 to 25 feet long, sporting two rhino-like horns on its head and studs on its back. Most people would think this is some kind of relative of the Ceratopians, but unbelievably, it is actually a species of sauropod. Through extreme evolution, it's most likely that one species of titanosaur evolved horns on its head as a method of, show of showing itself off to mates. This probably evolved into a defensive weapon, and eventually, it became a rhino-like dinosaur.
The quick footed herbivores are, however, very similar to rhinos. Males have larger horns than females, they have poor eyesight, and a good sense of smell. But, apart from this, they are extremely different from rhinos, as they have armor on their backs and live in a world populated by carnivorous meat eaters. This plate backed animal is known as Atracurisaurus, which means dark spear lizard. The Atracurisaurus is a rare species of dinosaur and the last member of the Stegosaur family. The actual discovery of Atracurisaurus has sparked a controversy between many scientists about when Skull Island be formed land bridges with the actual continents. The actual species living on Skull Island suggested that the land bridges only formed during the Permian and Late Cretaceous. However, Atracurisaurus lived the uh, but after the the Permian and became and its ancestors became extinct before the Cretaceous. So how exactly Atacurus came on Skull Island is completely unknown. Even the high lines of Skull Island are, are populated by herbivorous dinosaurs. This is Ceridon Pacus, which means thick horn tooth. They are the last members of the Pachycephalosaur family and are much more agile and nimble than their prehistoric relatives. They can reach lengths between 8 and 12 feet and feed on the shrubs and grasses on the mountain sides of Skull Island. Having a long, balanced tail, long legs, and a small body, the Ceridon can easily maneuver over the rocks and cliffs of Skull Island's mountains. This species also supports extreme di sexual dimorphism between the two sexes. Males have longer and more numerous horns on their head, which also point directly upward. This is so that when in contact with the predators, the horns go directly into the body and can stab vital organs to the animal. The horns on the head of females are smaller and less numerous. However, their domes are much thicker and are used to shatter bone rather than poking into predators. This combination means the species can easily defend themselves against the many predators which roam the uplands of Skull Island. This is Bifurcatops peritus which means skilled two-pronged face. The Bifurcatops is an agile species of ceratopsian which lives on the mountains of Skull Island, using long antelope-like legs to run around and hop over rocks to avoid predators. They inhabit most areas which other herbivores wouldn't dare travel. The only exception are the Ceridon pacus. At a length between 6 and 10 feet long, the, the Bifurcatops is the smallest species of cer of ceratopsian still surviving and as a courtship ritual males dance around uh, with gr grassell like moves to impress females next time on walking with kong we will see the mammal like reptiles which rule much of skull island under the shadows of the dinosaurs see you next time